hello students today we'll see our second lesson conception analysis in this lesson we'll be learning about the consumer behavior when price changes law of demand the law of demand explains consumer choice behavior when the price changes in the market assuming other factor affecting demand being constant when the price of goods in rises it leads to a fall in the demand for that good this is natural consumer choice behavior this happens because a consumer hesitate to spend more for the good with the fear of going out of cash so the law of demand means when the price increases there's a fall in demand for commodities and when the price falls down there's a rise in the demand for the commodities so it is inversely related law of demand definition the law of demand says as the quantity demanded increases with a fall in price and diminishes with a rise in price which is given in the words of marshall and the other author named samuelson gave it as the law of demand states that the people will buy more at lower price and by less at higher price when other things remaining the same characteristics of demand there are four characteristics of demand namely price time market and amount because of these four characteristics the demand varies let's discuss one by one price demand is always related to price second one is time demand always meets demand per unit of time maybe per day per week per month or per year third one is market demand is always related to market where the buyers and sellers meet and the fourth one is amount demand is always a specific quantity which a consumer is willing to purchase demand function demand depends upon price that is price is a major determinant of demand this means demand for a commodity is a function of price demand functions mathematically it is denoted as d is equal to f of p that is d is a function of price d is equal to demand f is function and p is price let's go with the assumption the income of the consumer remains same the taste habit and preference of the consumer remain same the price of the other related goods should not change there should be no substitute for the commodity the demand for the commodity must be continuous there should be not any change in the quantity of the commodity given these assumptions the law of demand operates if there is a change even in one of these assumption the law will not operate now just look to the schedule given below when the price falls from 5 4 3 2 1 the quantity demanded increases from 1 2 3 4 and 5 so these are price and quantity demanded are inversely related so it explains an inverse relationship when the price falls demand increases when the demand falls price increases so it is inversely related 
this st- law states that there is an inverse relationship between the price and the quantity demanded for the commodity now sketching with the schedule to a diagram you can see the x axis is the quantity demanded and the y axis represents the price of the commodity dd is a demand curve which has a negative slope negative slope in the sense it slopes downwards it slopes downwards from left to right which indicates that when price falls demand expands and when price rises the demand contracts market demand for a commodity the market demand for a commodity is derived by adding the quantum of demand that of a commodity by all the individuals constituting in the market in this diagram given below the final market demand curve represents the additional of the demand curve of the individual a b and c at the same price when price is rupees 3 the market demand curve is 2 plus 2 plus 4 is equal to 8 when price is at 1 the market is 6 plus 8 plus 8 that is equal to 22 as in the case of individual demand schedule the market demand curve is at the price of the market at the same time 